This is the story of a woman from Miami who changed the course of what might have become history. In 1933, she went to Biscayne Bay Park to see two important people. Chicago's Mayor Anton Cermak was there, and a man who was elected president but not sworn in yet, Franklin Roosevelt. Cermak made a speech next to FDR. Lillian Cross was sitting nearby. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw a man raise a gun and aim it at FDR. She lunged at the gun. The shot didn't hit Roosevelt, but four ricochets hit people in the crowd, and the direct shot that the man fired did kill Chicago Mayor Cermak. The man was Giuseppe Sangara, an unemployed bricklayer. He admitted that he fired the shots, was subdued by police, told reporters he wanted to kill Roosevelt and every other capitalist. He was convicted, the judge gave him 80 years, he told the judge it should have been 100. He was eventually executed in the Florida electric chair. His final words were, long live Italy, and push the button. Had Lillian Cross not been there that day, it might have been FDR who was assassinated, even before being sworn in, even before leading the nation out of the Great Depression, before creating the New Deal and Social Security, and before leading the nation through World War II. Lillian Cross, a woman who was in the right place at the right time and did the right thing. I'm Dennis Daly.